back here at Darlington with the rollback pumpkin. You know, looking through some of these old schemes, some of these drivers that were there when you were racing and stuff. Does bring back any specific memories? Is there anyone that sticks out to you that you're like, hey, I remember racing that guy or battling that, uh, that paint scheme? In 1997, I got my big chance to go cup racing full time. I sat on the pole for the Daytona 500. Halfway through the race, I was racing Terry Labonte as hard as I could go for 25th place, and he was the champion from the year before, and I went, oh my God, this cup stuff is tough. So that paint scheme that on that number five this weekend, I, I, that's, that's, that's my favorite. It's so, so cool. So what other memories do you have from this track? What's, what's your best memory as a, as a driver going through your cup of It's, it's kind of crazy. You know, I always came here and I'd always qualify up front, lead the race for a little bit, and then figure out a way to get lapped. I mean, I just would always screw it up somehow. And so one of my fondest memories was the last time I raced a cup car here. I was in the Kodak car, and we had qualified decent. It got up toward the front and pitted, got shuffled back, and I figured out, finally figured out how to race Darlington. I came all the way up, was passing for second place, and the motor blew up. And I was like so dejected, but I walked away there with a big smile on my face. And it was funny, Richard Childress walked over to Angie and said, he finally figured out this place. So I love this racetrack, it's so cool. What are your thoughts on the NASCAR alumni program and just your takeaways from everything that's happened already this weekend? It's so cool that they did this and they want to make it an annual event. So I told Angie, I said, put this on our calendar, we're gonna come. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's get, getting to see old faces and new faces and tell stories. It's, it's just really, really cool just to kind of hang out with these guys. And, um, you know, some of us didn't even like each other when we raced each other. And now we're hanging out talking about, you know, let's have a bottle of wine or a beer one time. You, know? you feel like rivalries, rivalries back then were more serious and intense than today? It seems like a lot of the drivers are so, you know, Absolutely. Kind of more reserved and stuff. We, we, We'd go in the parking lot the old days. Nowadays, they text each other. <laughs> and do you think uh, when you were driving, or if you were a younger driver today, uh, how would you make up the next year? Uh, I, I missed my like call, and this this car was built for my style of driving. And uh, I, I think I would have done really, really a lot better in this car than the car we were running at the time. The car we were running at the time, you could really burn the tires off of it pretty easy. Um, it, you had to have a lot of finesse, and that's why I always qualified up front. I didn't have any finesse. I could mash the damn gas, but I couldn't figure it out how to, I wanted the tires to build up gradually. Man, I built them right up and blew them right out. So uh, I just feel like this car is the most amazing car that they've ever built. It's safe, it's fast, it's sexy, it sounds good. I, I, I think the current cup car is the coolest one ever for me anyway. And the uh, last one I have for you is, this past few weeks, we've been hearing about a lot about aero blocking, but a lot of drivers have said it. It's been around for years. Back when you were racing, and you guys would slide up, take a guy's uh, guy's air away. Was it mirror driving, aero blocking? Did you guys understand what the air was doing when you would do those things? Well, the dirty air has always been dirty air, but it's more critical today than it's ever been. And so now it's a new part of your job. It's a new part of the art of, of being able to good, be a good race car driver is knowing how to work the air. And it's just as bad when you're catching somebody. If you wait a split second too long to get some air on the nose, you'll just blow through the front tires, piss the tires off, and it might take you 10 laps to get back to where you were at. So. Uh, it's it's uh, it's more critical today than it ever was. Back when I was doing it with the car that we were racing, the several different gen cars that we raced back in those days, um, the air is, is, is more important today than it's ever been.